Agents can now complete their Medicare Advantage and Part D enrollments right within the CSG agent quoting platform. In this tutorial video today, we are going to go through an app start to finish to get you familiar with all of the screens and point out for you uh, key features that are available within our Medicare Advantage e-application. So to start off, I do have the quoting tool here pulled up on my screen. The first thing that I'm going to point out to you is you will want to use the newer version of our Medicare Advantage and Part D quoting. That is labeled here new and then also version two. So you will want to use this newer version. You will start off by running your quote. Now what's unique about CSG is we also offer you the ability to enter in and save a client's prescription drugs and preferred pharmacies. So if you wanted to include that in your initial quote, you can absolutely do that. All you would have to do is select your client from your client option applicant drop down menu. It would then populate their zip code. You would then select the plan type, whether that's a Medicare Advantage, Part D, or special needs that you are doing. You have different options to sort by. You can also include that low income subsidy level in your quote, but this is where you'd go ahead and enter in those prescription drugs and preferred pharmacies. If you have previously entered them in for a client, as I selected my client above, you can see that information automatically populates for me. So you can do all of that within CSG, which is really great. If you did not want to run a quote with prescription drugs, all you would have to do here is select no. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and run my quote here. A couple of things that I want to point out within CSG is we are going to show you 100% of the market. So you are going to see different carriers that are available in the Medicare Advantage space. Any carriers that we have on our e-application platform, you will see those labeled with that enroll now button. Um, so as I scroll through the screen, you can see we do show you some additional information about these particular plans, the are how many drugs are covered, the pharmacies, the star ratings. If you wanted to go into the view plan details section, this is will give you a full overview of that plan all of the benefits and the cost. You'll also be able to review the RX drug coverage and costs for the drugs that you entered and the pharmacy. So it does provide you accurate quoting for your Medicare Advantage and PDP clients. You can also do side-by-side -side comparisons with these different plans as well. So let's go through the actual enrollment process here. So what you will do is you will click on this Enroll Now button. Now the first time that you select Enroll Now, it is going Going to ask you that you validate either with your agent writing number or your national producer number. Each carrier is going to be different on what they are asking you to validate. So in this example, I'm going to do Humana and I need to enter in my Humana writing number. So I'll go ahead and type that in. Once that has been entered, I can click update and it's gonna say settings updated. Now the system is going to now take me right into the application process. So it does just take a couple seconds here to load, but it will now load the application. If that writing number or that national producer number failed authentication, then it will notify the agent of that. It will then take me right into the application as you see here. Um, keep in mind the next time you go and submit an application for that carrier on the system, the system will not ask you to enter in that writing number every single time. It will remember it for you and then just take you right into the application. So what's unique about CSG is we are providing you one universal e-application platform. So no matter if you're doing a Medicare Advantage, a Medicare supplement, or a dental, the look and feel and the process of our e-application platform is going to have the same look and feel. That's really important for agents to have just one process to go through, no matter the product or the carrier. So you can see over here on the right hand side, my Medicare Advantage plan uh, came over here. I have the sections of the application that I will go through and complete. And then I have my notifications tab. So what's also unique about CSG is we're going to notify you of any errors in the application. I'll kind of talk through some of those errors that we would notify you as I'm going through this app. Um, so as I go through each section, you can go through it and hit continue, or you can skip to a particular section over here on the right hand side. Um, most of you are very familiar with the questions of the Medicare Advantage app. So none of these would be newer to you. Um, I'm just going to point out a couple of things here in your navigation 
when I hover over these three lines, this does make my screen bigger. So I am gonna show you it with a bigger screen here. So we're gonna go through this application start to finish here. I am gonna point out some certain features of the application that I really want you to be aware of. So let's go through. This is just um, noting about all of the beneficiary that I have provided all of my disclosures. So I will go through and check mark those. Before we get started with the enrollment, do you understand the benefits we covered earlier? And then please confirm the plan selection over there in the right hand side. Now keep in mind, once you have selected a plan, you cannot change that plan. So if you did select the wrong plan here, you will have to go back to that quote results screen and reselect that enroll now button. Um, from here, we're just going to start entering the coverage date and then first names, last names of the applicant. Now, any required fields will have this red asterisk there for me. And then this is the applicant's email address. It carries over your zip code, your city, your state, your county from that quote that you did. Is a mailing address different? No. And then you will enter in their Medicare number here. And then your Medicare Part A and Part B effective dates. So you can either type in that number or you can find it here as you're going through it. So you can do either option there. Do you want to send you information in the language other than English? No, and then no. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit continue on to the next section. So once a section has been completed, it will have a green check mark letting you know that section is completed. If there's any errors in the application or missing, you would see a yellow air icon that is indicated here. I really like the CSG format because you can skip around and hop around to different sections if need be, just by clicking on that particular section. And then you can always come back to that section. So it does make it really clean and easy for you to go through each of the sections. I also really like this election information section because we will notify you if you select the wrong type. So in this example I'm doing, it is an initial enrollment, but if I were to select special enrollment or annual enrollment, um, it will notify me that I selected the wrong type, um, which is just a safeguard for you, the agent. And then I will go ahead and can hit continue. Now, as you're going through this application, your application is saving for you. You may get interrupted as you're going through an application, your phone may ring, you may have to come back to it for whatever reason. So everything that you do is saving and it does save in your e-applications panel, which I will show you towards the end of, of, of today's training here. So if there's any optional supplemental benefits, those would also appear here for you. So if you wanted to include those, you would just check mark that and then hit continue. Existing coverage information. Um, this will be our next section that we go through and complete so we can answer those questions. And then hit continue. Now, physician information, <clears throat> this will vary um, a little bit different from carrier to carrier. Um, most carriers, we will provide you a link to check that primary care ID number. Um, so for those companies that have that link, we'll provide them. Um, other companies, we will actually embed this system in, in here so you'll be able to search for them. For this particular um, Humana application, they do provide those links for us to go ahead and check. but I will enter in that doctor's ID number. Are you a patient? Yes, and then hitting continue. 
So again, you want to make sure that you have green check marks on every single section here that you are going through and completing, except the optional benefits. If you did not select that one, it would not show anything there. Um, if you, if the applicant is not completing it and they do have a legal representative completing it on their behalf, they would answer yes. But if the applicant is completing it, just go ahead and enter no. Um, if you were to select yes, they would have to enter in their information here. In this case, I'm going through this as an example, maybe if the client was face-to-face -face with me. So then I can select no and then hit continue. Now we are capturing method of payments. So this is a requirement by the carriers, um, even for those $0 a month premium. So each carrier is going to vary a little bit on what they accept for payment. Um, so we do have some different options here for the Humana plan. If they do offer that automatic bank withdrawal, the um, applicant can provide their banking information. So they can either type in the name of their bank or they can type in the routing number. So either option would work for selecting that bank just to make sure you have the right routing number and then the account number and then the first name and then the last name and then hitting continue. Now we get a lot of questions from agents on the health risk assessment. So we do have links to the carrier's health risk assessments. Those are in our to be completed by producer section. So in this section here, you will go ahead and enter in your first name, your last name, and then you would just include that same writing number or NPN, whatever the um, carrier is asking for, your phone number, and then your email address. your source of your lead. And then here's where we have links out to those health risk assessments for you. So all you would have to do is click on that and it will generate you to their page where you would sign in and complete their health risk assessment. So you can do that right after you hit submit, you can do it kind of first here and then go through and submit the application. So either will work. Um, the carriers are allowing you that, that lead way um, on our system to then go ahead and uh, complete that health risk assessment. Um, so from there, we're going to go ahead and hit verify application. Um, this will give us one last opportunity to review the application start to finish. So if we notice that we had any errors in the application, we can go back and correct them. So what's also unique about this verify application section is you can print this. So if you needed a copy of the information that you submitted for the application, you can go down to the bottom here and you can hit print and then you can print it or you can export it to a PDF. So you have that option. If you notice any errors in the application, again, all you would have to do is quickly hit on that edit section and it would take you to that section where you can adjust any of your information here. So all of this is accurate. I'm gonna go ahead and hit lock and e-sign. This summary of the application will also be available afterwards for you and it will store in your e-applications panel as well. So this is the electronic uh, consent. So you have your consent and then you also have your disclosures here. So just accept that and then go ahead and hit continue. That print button would give you the option to print the, the consent and the disclosures if you needed to. This then takes me to my statement of signature. Each carrier may vary on what they are accepting or allowing for signatures. Um, in most cases, we're gonna have the applicant providing identification information. Um, this would just be their mother's maiden name and the last four of their social security number. So you can enter that in. A couple of other options, again, depending on the carrier, would be an email signature link. So that email that the applicant uh, included in the applicant information section would automatically carry over for you. But if that is incorrect, you can go ahead and edit that email address. And then we will also have a text signature option. Again, that phone number carries over from the applicant information section. If that is different than what they maybe they provided you a different number, um, they wanted it to go to a smartphone, you can then change that phone number as well. So you do have a couple of different options for signature. 
Um, in this example, I'm just going to do applicant providing identification information, and then I'm going to check mark apply e-signature and then sign application. If you were doing an email or a text, how that process works is it will send that applicant a link with a verification code either to their email or their smartphone. All they would have to do is click on that link, um, enter in their verification code and their date of birth. They will agree to the consent and the disclosures, and then it will also allow them to review the application and there'll be a button that says sign application. So very easy process for them if they are going through that email or that text. So once it has been submitted, it will let you know that it has been submitted. Now this submitted button will kind of vary from carrier to carrier. So some carriers we will submit to them in real time. Other carriers, we send them an overnight update of all the applications that are that are submitted on our system. So if that's the case, the application will say pending. And then the next day when you come in here, you'll notice that it, the status would have changed to submitted. So I do have an example of what that looks like here on my e-applications panel. So you can see my application that we just completed for Todd is now submitted. I can view a copy of that summary of the application just by clicking on this view button. Again, this allows me to kind of store everything here. I really like um, this feature that you can always come back to it if you did not print it out the first time. Um, so that is available for you there. And then as I mentioned, some carriers, we will send all the applications overnight at one time. So for those carriers, it will say pending submission. So then the next day you'll come in here and you'll see that it has been submitted. So as I mentioned, as you're going through these applications start to finish, if you get interrupted, you need to come back into an application. This this is where any of your incompletes would also store. So you can always come back into an application. You'll notice here I do have some med sup applications that I've done. I have some dental on here. So you really, you can store all of your applications that you have submitted within CSG. It's really nice to see everything in one centralized location. Um, the other status that, that you may see is, um, a producer signed, um, which just means that it's still pending the applicant signature. Um, so that's if you were doing an email or a text option, you would have that. So how you get to your e-applications, um, if I go back to my dashboard page, one of the, um, the tools within your dashboard page says e-applications view active, and that's how you would get into your e-applications panel. You can also complete your scope of appointments on here as well. So we do have an option for you to complete your scopes with this ESOA doc signing. You also have an option to store all of your completed scopes within a document locker. So we are still staying very compliant for you on the Medicare Advantage side. Again, the way to get into your e-applications is by clicking on this e-applications view act active to see any of your pending submitted or also incomplete applications. So hopefully this was a great video for you that goes through our e-application start to finish. If you ever have any questions, questions on how to complete a Medicare Advantage application, please reach out to us directly. We're always happy to help.